and talk to Chan. And I guess we're gonna unlock a new region once again. And uh, I'm assuming this is gonna give me a cutscene, and I'll probably end the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I will cut the episode at the end of this cutscene. Hello everyone, welcome back. More Outriders. I'm so close to the end of this game. Sit tight, people. I'm gonna clear the way. It's time for some answers. All right, and we are just going to uh, get some answers. Hmm. What do we have here? A journal. Zahidi, I found some more writing from Monroy's people. I think we must be approaching their colony. It seems Monroy didn't believe the packs were so peaceful. When their tech started getting fried, he suspected the packs were trying to sabotage them. Then, just as a storm was brewing up, they caught the packs doing one of their obelisk rituals. Did Monroy think the packs were causing the storm? I, uh, thought the same thing when I first saw August in those ruins in the forest. Monroy ordered his soldiers to stop them. It was on that day that Dr. Indira recorded the first pack status. Oh. Collect all the writing you can find for me. Perhaps we can learn their story. So they were transforming themselves so that they'd be able to fight the Monroe's people. And that's why they started doing this ritual and killing themselves and getting altered by the storm. It's because they were fighting. Wow. Another day, another misunderstanding, I guess. So then they became ferals. I wonder if these people here did they cause this stuff? Like because they started doing that with the obelisk, is that why the storm happened to begin with? It's kind of an interesting I'm just trying to tear my way through this. I'm so curious. Oh no. Whew. I do not. I hate the hunters, man. I just can't. Can't dodge their shots, but I found that if you strafe, they don't shoot like right away because they're trying to get a beat on you. So sometimes you can use that. <gasps> I was not paying it. Oh hi 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 yeah. Uh, was just just you know just hanging out you know just having a good old time. My bad. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings or anything. I'm just gonna leave this here. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, good talk. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not really interested in uh, taking your shotgun to the face, sir. I'm really. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested, I'm not interested in what you're selling. I'm not interested in what you're selling. Oh! oh. oh. I can revive myself. Since when? Oh! Someone else! joined my quest and it saved my life. What? Uh, I have been playing solo this whole time. And 
I guess I left my party on it open. Oops. Because I was playing online a little bit earlier. That means I have even more enemies to deal with now. Ow. After the first big storms burn out most of their tech, sounds like Monroy got furious. He demanded explanations from the packs and access to their powers, but they didn't understand. They offered everything they could. They led Monroy through the jungle to their sacred city. Probably this city, the place we've discovered. I bet you Monroy is the wanderer that we keep running into. I think that is a pretty logical explanation. Look at that, is that the storm? What even is that? Is this like the end of the world? So weird, man. And they are camps like right next to this. Oh no. Ignite status, I'm still ignited. Oh, there's a berserker, I didn't see him. God, that scared me. Sometimes they just sneak up on me, man. I don't know if they like use, like, it's not invisibility, but like the way they teleport. Sometimes I just don't see them, I guess. I'm so glad I saw that at the last second. <sighs> I definitely take enough damage at World Tier 13. But what I've noticed is that it's just been capped at 13. Like, it's been capped out like that forever. I don't know what that means. I wonder if that means I can't go to the next World Tier until, like, endgame or something. Ow. Ow! Slowly making my way through, man. Oh my god. It's a battle. They have molten on them now. They're even stronger, man. Crazy. Oh my god. This scared me. Oh, can I roll, please? There we go. I need to keep my poison, like my toxicity, on people. So that I keep healing. If I stop healing, I'll die. I don't want him to heal. I have to kill him before he heals. Damn. Nothing like the guys that just run at you. It's really not annoying at all. Ooh. I'm gonna disrespectfully kill him with a pistol. <laughs> Got him. You can't blame me, I had to reload my gun. <laughs> Ow. I think this gear that I have is about as good as it's gonna get, man. Because if my world tier is capped out for now, you know, like what am I supposed to do? I can't get a higher bit level gear. I can keep upgrading it. I should upgrade it a little bit because I'm taking so much damage. 
But obviously, like, World Tier 13 isn't supposed to be easy. It's literally the second to last tier, I think. I may take damage, but I still deal damage. Last guy. Sick. And then we can continue onwards. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me just loot this real fast. Just hoping for some good loot. Oh well. Pax took him to the Grand Temple, tried to show him how they communed with the anomaly. But Monroy thought it was a ploy to assassinate him. He ordered the executions of the Pax leaders and locked down the temple until he could learn how to control it himself. My god. Monroy, he misunderstood everything the Pax did. Yep. I think that's why I think Monroy is the wanderer. Cause he's always talking about how he like killed people. About Monroy and his people. But I guarantee I'm pretty sure that Monroy is the wanderer. Can I please place my flag? There we go. Great there are game. countless cages here. They're filled with skeletons. It would also explain why the Wanderer doesn't like unleashing his ultra power fighting the packs or the pharaohs. And then I guess he became altered or something. That's why he understands now, but it's already too late. Might be what it is. Ow. You ever roll forwards instead of sideways? I do. Now I'm bleeding. Help, I'm dying. I wish I had an assault rifle rather than an LMG, but this thing holds ammo so well. It makes it really hard to replace it. Like, why would I ever want to replace it? I never run out of ammo. Oh my god, shit. I do plenty of damage. Uh oh, I see big man. Oh, it still hit me. Oh, I hate that skill so much. It's annoying because, like, you try to outrun it and you can't. And you try to roll it and you can't. God, he's just casting it. He almost got to me. He like him getting closer and closer. <laughs> Slavery. So they put the Pax as the slaves. We came all the way to another planet and we were still mm, interesting. Time for the journal. After they'd executed the Pax leaders, Monroy's people started moving into the city. This was their colony. They took over the homes of the Pax, forcing them to work for them, to serve them. In other words, they made them slaves. They believed the loss of their machinery was the Pax's fault. Doesn't matter what they believe. There's no excuse for enslaving another race. Wow. Insane. Plant my flag. Okay, everyone, welcome back. This is World Tier 14, continuing onward with the quest. And oh my There's goodness. There's hundreds of dead packs here, executed, piled up. This whole city is a mass grave. Monroy's people, they did this. I think it's getting real clear who the packs were scared of, who they changed themselves into ferals to protect themselves from. Interesting.
This is just these these bites are so insane. I cannot even think. Look at how many look how many red dots there are. It's just absurd. Like these fights last so long that I like consider like editing them out. It's just such a battle, man. Now I'm doing my thing. I've got kind of a roll going. I've got a setup where I can just start killing these guys off a little bit. Nice. We cleared the area. Whew. What a battle, man. This place, it was a slave market. Seems like they got hit by the worst storm yet. Hundreds died, humans and packs. Some of the obelisks were damaged too, so... Whatever the packs once were doing to control the storms, they couldn't do it anymore. He feared an uprising, losing control as packs started to abandon the city. Uh, Nikolai Galyatkin, Monroy made him general, and put him in charge of weapons production. No doubt the same weapons the Pharaohs used against them later. Yeah. Crazy. Does anything I pick up get better? That's a little better. But I'll worry about it later. Monroy. This palace is covered with flags, all with it's gotta be his face. He made himself king of the packs. Oh no. A tyrant. Ow. I really gotta put standing in that. <laughs> Dodge that one. Okay, I need to get better placement on my stuff so that I can actually heal. Shooting it at me or oh, I can't freeze him. Shooting at me. Oh, yes. <gasps> I'm just trying to deal damage. Honestly, I can't even hurt this guy. <gasps> Not this time. Okay. I was gonna say last time I got hit by that, it about one shot me. It's just keeping those anomaly rifts up, man. They're kind of obnoxious. I think they shoot at me. Oh, he's interrupting a lot of his spells. I don't have interrupts, so... Almost through his armor a little bit. Oh, okay. I gotta get away from that. Oh no, I'm spawning in some other people to worry about. I can't worry about all this at once. So much. Ah, Christ.
Oh no, I can't move. I can't move. I'm gonna die. Move! Oh my god. <laughs> uh... I'm just gonna keep coming. I'm gonna keep killing his anomaly riffs. Bosses, but look at this low tier stuff, man. Like, you get one shot if you get a hit, and like, look at how much it takes. These are like, these aren't bad weapons. It's just that hard to kill, so it takes that much to kill some. I'm gonna die. I got shot by one of the anomaly rifts. Glad I have emergency stance, man. I didn't get in time. I didn't get out of it in time. It's my fault. Oh no! Not again! Okay, if I got hit by that twice, that would have been really bad. I would have actually been trolling. So leave it surely. Really slowly. Really slowly. But maybe surely. I'm actually, like... I know I've been doing the Let's Play by myself this whole time, but I'm really glad this guy randomly joined my party because these fights are so hard, man. And I know that like, him being here makes it a little harder. I can't reload. That was almost... Can I move, please, sir? Nope. Okay. Got him. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Okay. Got him. Nice. And, like, the items I pick up, like... I'm maxed out on my items. I'm as strong as I can be. This, it's just not kidding around when it says insanity. Not even a little bit. Ow. Those anomaly wrists hit really hard. Hmm. I like to kill them when I get the chance because they shoot. They shoot little bullets and they hurt. I wonder if I can. Got him. That was terrible. Ooh. This is the most damage I can deal. Flight of bullets with... <clears throat> Flight of bullets with my sniper. If I crit, it does like 100,000. Jeez. Mm. Almost didn't get out of there in time. Goodness. I don't know if we're ever gonna kill this guy. <laughs> He's the only thing left, and I kinda want gonna take right. Oh, he's aiming at me? I don't know if I can freeze those, but... 
<laughs> Goodness. Oh my god, dude. Oh, shouldn't sit still. I think this golem sense is just keeping me from getting one shot, honestly. <sighs> yeah, it definitely is. It's the most DPS I can deal. Jeez, so annoying. We're so close. God. This is the boss fight. This is the final boss of the game, I hope. <laughs> his, like, his attacks are super linear and they're not hard to predict, but if I didn't have the, like, the stuff on my gear that I have, I'm pretty sure that any time those orbs shot me, I would instantly die. Like, not even kidding. I'm pretty sure I would just instantly clear. die. <sighs> I, I'm editing that fight out. That was like a 20 minute fight. Sending out raids to hunt down the fleeing packs. And that's when the uprising he predicted finally found him. But it wasn't the packs. At least, not as he expected. The Pharaoh. He never saw them coming. Interesting. But Monroy didn't retreat. That asshole dug in out there in the desert and tried to track them down where they were coming from. That's when he found the canyon and the great obelisk. He finally understood there who the pharaohs were. But that's when he got word that the city was under attack. And so it was. The beginning of the end. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wanted to see the text on that. <laughs> That's so funny. I think it's so funny that they have those little custom messages. What is going on here? Hmm. I made it to the top. The palace is clear. Yo. Better come up here and see for yourself. This is so wild. Did he find a loot box? Oh, he did. Wow. We're icy hot. Fire and ice. I freeze them, he burns them. That's it. Oh. This Monroy was a madman. Hey, there's a ship. Is that the Caravel? That's not possible. The Caravel never left. Its engines exploded. What? Tens of thousands died. Then what the hell are we looking at? The source of the fucking signal. Monroy's signal. There's no place beyond the storm. It's coming from in there, protected from the anomaly, just like the uplink in your goddamn briefcase. I don't fucking understand. Neither do I. It doesn't make any sense. Everyone saw the caravel explode during its construction. 
Even if the people left on Earth were able to rebuild the ship, they left after us. We were the first. Nevertheless, what's certain is that Monroy enslaved August's people. He butchered them, and they turned. They mutated into savages willingly, so they could fight back. I'm done with all this. Whatever's waiting for you on that ship, I want no part of it. Tiago, you can't leave us now. I thought you weren't a deserter. What they did to August's people. What our people did to August, don't you see? Thank you for letting me walk away with you. We're going to finish this. We're finding a way into the caravel. Wow. This is it now. That ship, the signal, the garden. I'm ready to make some sense of all this. We'll leave on your word, Outrider. <laughs>